I'm very happy getting this 6 inch Dobson and telescope and being a go-to telescope it tracks the sky which is wonderful. It's also very compact and easy to deal with and only with around 500 bucks you get a telescope with all that you need for imaging and for visual. However, there was a problem. When I received it, I immediately realized that it needed some mods. These five modifications I'm going to show you, I strongly recommend that you do it right away if you buy this telescope or if you have it already. The focuser is helicoidal, which means you have to turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise to get focus. This system introduces tilt on the focuser. Therefore, you have to use Teflon tape to fix that. It's just the regular tape that we use in gardening accessories that you can buy in a local store. However, I will leave the links from all the materials using in this video at the description. Just surround the focuser thread with the tape, giving two or three turns to give enough stiffness to the focuser, allowing more friction. In a moment, I will give you a great tip for focusing this telescope. Right out of the box, you can use regular batteries to power up this telescope. However, I prefer to use a UPS, which acts better than a power bank, to supply the 12 volts needed for this go-to telescope to work. I also bought a small cable to connect the UPS to the telescope. The large USB cable you are watching, it's an extra cable that I use to connect the mini cooler that I have in my camera. With the UPS you can connect view eaters or other accessories you need. And with just a bit of velcro tape you can fix it anywhere. It will provide power for two or three nights in a row easily. This telescope has already a circle level, which purpose is to level the telescope properly to polar align. However, I bought the pair of levels, one for the base attached with velcro strap and another for the tube attached with a magnet, which turns it easier for me in the dark and with the telescope on the ground to make a quick and easy alignment watching from above. I also marked the floor to place the telescope always in the same position. However, no matter what I do, it never gets 100% aligned Therefore, it never gets 100% go to precision. Either way, it works very well, allowing me to watch beautiful objects in the sky and take good pictures, as you can confirm watching me capturing objects in real time during my live streams. Another important modification is the shroud. It will protect your telescope from any light intrusion that can damage your images or observations. There are different ways to do a shroud. I opted by the inexpensive and of course the keep it simple way. So I bought two rolls of EVA foam, a black one, 2 mm thickness and I did three different shrouds and I chose the one that better fits my needs. But let me show you the three for you to decide what is better for you. The first one I did was an external one, which means it doesn't obstruct the path of the light, however it doesn't completely seal the telescope if you move the sliders. And this movement is very important for the method I use to focus this telescope and that I will demonstrate in a moment. This external shroud is very nice if you intend not to move the sliders up and down. Be aware that in the three different shrouds I made for this telescope, all of them have a focuser protection, which is this small shield that I made and that you can make easily, that in my opinion it's crucial to avoid any light leaks at all into the focuser. The second shroud I tested was an inner shroud. It allows to go up and down with the sliders and fully close the telescope to have it compact and it's the most popular shroud used by people. However, being totally inside the tube and even being so thin, it will slightly obstruct the light path if you, like me, use a focal reducer to get a faster telescope. So to fix that, I made the third shroud, which is very similar to the previous one. However, and pay attention, the foam passes through the outer side of the light shade the telescope has and that it's there to avoid any light intrusion to the secondary mirror and the focuser 
when not using any shroud. And placing velcro strap in that shade, it will already be enough to make sure that the shroud doesn't fall. And then to avoid any obstruction at all, I used simple duct tape which is super thin to hold the rest of the foam to the top ring of the telescope. The trade-off here is that you can't push the sliders all in to have the telescope fully compacted. This one fits my needs and it's the best one for imaging. However, you should choose the one that fits you better. And before showing you how I focus properly this telescope, let me show you the fifth modification, which is the primary mirror foam cap using the same foam as you use to do the shroud and easily completely sealing the light leaks from the bottom of the telescope. Now there are no excuses to have a good black background in your imaging sessions. And now the bonus tip, my method to focus properly this telescope and that nobody will tell you. And the trick is focusing without using almost the focuser. Let me explain. I simply reach focus, moving the sliders up and down. This means if I use a Barlow for instance to planetary imaging, I let the sliders all up and after adjust the focus with the sliders, I just fine tune with the focuser, moving it just one or two millimeters to get focus. If I don't use any accessory at all, I do exactly the same. However, if I want to use, as I always use, a focal reducer, an inexpensive one, links at the description, to have a larger field of view, grabbing more photons at a faster pace, which means instead of working at the native f5 focal ratio, I work at f3.6, super fast, and I have to move the sliders down. I even mark the position in the tube with a sticker, which glows in the dark, allowing me to get the position faster during the night. Then, again, fine-tune with the focuser, moving just one or two millimeters to get the perfect focus. And with more advantages. One, you save the Teflon tape from excessive friction, so it will last longer. And two, not turning the focuser will keep the camera at the same position, or at least very close, which is very important when moving the telescope using the arrow keys in the scene scan go to application. And if you want to know more about this telescope, click on this video on the screen to improve your knowledge about this inexpensive and wonderful tool.